Hi kids, welcome back to Brain Bank. I'm your teacher, Brian. Today, we're going to read about this animal here. What is this animal? It is a koala, koala. So we're going to read about koalas, many koalas. Not just one, but many koalas. Are you interested about this very cute kiepshi animal? If you look at it, what does it look like? It kind of looks like a teddy bear, right? So we'll talk about koalas and we'll also find out why they are not bears, okay? Let's get started. Koalas are here. Here's another picture of a koala. It's very interesting. What can we understand about the koala from this picture? Well, we can see that it has sharp claws and it has strong arms and legs. It can hold on to a tree branch. Koalas live in trees and they can hold on to the tree branch very well. What do you think this koala is doing right now? It looks like it's sleeping. It's sleeping while holding on to a tree branch. Can you sleep while holding on to a tree branch? Don't try it, okay? You will fall, okay? But koalas live their lives in trees and they can sleep while holding on to a tree. It's very interesting. Let's learn more about koalas. Here we have the story. Grandma and Grandpa, Halamoni wa Halapoji, right? Grandma and Grandpa went to Australia. They went to Australia. They had a holiday, right? They sent me a postcard. They sent me a postcard. A postcard is yupso, yupso, right? Yupso has a picture. This is a postcard. There's a picture here of some famous part of the place they went to, Australia. Koala. Koalas are very famous in Australia. Many animals are famous in Australia. Can you think of another famous animal from Australia? It jumps really well. If you thought kangaroo, that's right. Actually, kangaroos and koalas are the same family of animals, right? People think koalas are bears. They say koala bear, but they aren't bears. They're related to kangaroos. They're a special kind of mammal. Here we can see the postcard. This is the postcard that grandma and grandma sent. One side has a picture. The other side has a blank space. You can write your message. Okay, so that's my toy koala. And of course, that's Hank's toy koala. Do you remember another toy koala? Maybe you saw teacher Sari make a koala in the activity section. <gasps> Is that koala coming? Here it comes, Sari's koala. Hello, kids. How are you? Okay, so here is Sari's koala, and we can see Sari's koala looks very similar to the toy koala. Here is the mama koala here, right? And here is her baby, her Joey koala. Can you see the Joey? Joey is here. This is the baby koala. Hello, how are you? Okay, I'm sorry, my voice is not so good for that. But we will see Sari's koala later on. She will help us learn more facts about koalas. Okay? Thank you, Sari's koala. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye! 
Okay, goodbye, Ceres Koala. But don't worry, I'm still here. Let's continue on to the next information about koalas. Okay, so the boy decides to send a letter back to Grandma and Grandpa. He got a postcard. Now he sends a letter back to Grandma and Grandpa. What does he write? He writes, thank you for my toy koalas. I have decided to collect. I have decided to collect uh, koalas, right? So collect is, I want to get many, right? Sujipada. I want to get many different koalas, different kinds. Toys, pictures, uh, maybe little sculptures of koalas. I have decided to collect koalas. I like them. Chowayo. I want to find out. I want to learn more about them. Them koalas. I want to find out more about koalas. Love Hank. Hank is the boy's name. And he drew a picture. What did he draw a picture of? He drew a picture of a koala. Where is the koala? The koala is in a tree. And there is a leaf next to the koala. That is the leaf that the koala eats. What did Hank find out about koalas? What did he learn about koalas? Well, I found out that. I found out that. I learned. I found out that koalas are not bears. Many people say koala bear, but that's wrong. Koalas are not bears, right? They're related to kangaroos. They're similar to kangaroos, same family, not bears, but they look like bears. They look like teddy bears. So many people say koala bear, but it's better just to say koala. Koalas live in gum trees. Gum tree? Is that a tree made of gum? Right? You can, you can eat the tree? That sounds great. I want to live in a gum tree. You can get gum all the time. But wait, stop. It's not that kind of tree. The tree is called a gum tree because if you break the tree, there's some liquid, very thick liquid that comes out and it's very sticky, right? Like glue or bond. If you touch it, oh, it's sticky. It, your fingers will stick together like glue or bond. So when Australians came to Australia, they found this tree, they saw the sticky stuff inside the tree, they thought it was like gum, because gum is very sticky. So they called the trees gum trees. But is it delicious? No, it tastes terrible. So it's not a good gum tree. It's not dalgi gum or mint gum, I'm sorry. Okay, but they call them gum trees. Okay, gum trees grow in Australia. That's why the Europeans were surprised by this tree and they called them gum trees. Koalas eat gum leaves. Here are the leaves from the gum tree. Now, do you know that the gum trees are also called eucalyptus? That's a big word. Eucalyptus. One more time. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus trees. Eucalyptus trees, that's the scientific name for the trees. But eucalyptus, that's a Himduro word. Many people just say gum tree. It's the same thing. Okay? So, we learned a little bit about koalas in part one. 
Now, in part two, we're going to learn a lot more interesting things about koalas, and Seiri will come back to help us learn about koalas. So, please join me and Seiri in part two of the koalas. We'll see you then. Bye-bye for now.